Hey guys, welcome back to my 100 most popular algorithm series. In this particular challenge, we are going to take a look at lead code problem number 11, which is container with most water. Uh, it is one of the earlier problems, uh, very popular, liked by close to 9000 people. And uh, it's uh, again a very popular problem. So let's just uh, take a look at the problem statement. So I mean, this can be a little bit tricky, but uh, I'll just simplify it for you. So we're given an array of numbers okay and each number in this array represents a vertical line okay so for example here we have first uh, element represents a vertical line of one unit the next of eight units and so on and so forth now our job is to basically uh, figure out how much uh, maximum water we can contain between them okay so we need to create an imaginary container between these two vertical lines which will hold a maximum sort of uh, maximum water in it. So here in the example we have a line of 8 units and here we have a line of 7 units and naturally you know so we can have a uh, container water up to 7 levels because the minimum of them is 7 right. So you can contain water of up to 7 units and the cool thing about them is they are 7 units apart. So which means uh, this the distance between them is 7 and the height is also 7 which means 7 cross 7 49. So this is the maximum uh, water we can contain in this particular example. So just to simplify things in other words, what we can say is uh, we need to find uh, the maximum rectangle that we can draw between these any two vertical lines. Now that is the that is our answer. So that is uh, that is the problem statement. Now in order to solve this problem, uh, let's look at uh, we'll, we are going to take a two pointer approach. So let's uh, understand how that works. So here I have taken the exact same example. Uh, these are the numbers and these are their indexes. Uh, at what positions, they, these are the vertical line resides. Uh, initially my max area will be zero and uh, my two pointers left and right will point to the two ends of, of the number array. Okay, so uh, let's, so, so what we need to do is, we need to start computing the area from uh, between left to right and then adjust left to right accordingly okay so the first is see left is here which is pointing to first vertical line which is uh, which is this one so left is here and right is here which is at the seven vertical line so the uh, at the minimum height between the two is one okay so the height of this container can only can go at max at one okay so that is the height and the length is they are uh, eight minus zero so they are eight distance apart eight units apart so we can have at this uh, at the current formation of left and right pointers we can have an area of 1 cross 8 1 in height and 8 in distance so that is the maximum area that we have seen so we'll update it now uh, we need to adjust the left and right pointers so that we can compute few more areas now for that we, uh, you know so we have two decision points either we can shift left or we can shift right but as you can see right is still standing at the highest like a taller vertical line whereas left is just is not right so uh, naturally we will need to shift left because then here we have more chance of gaining a maximum uh, area so we'll now in the next iteration we'll shift left here okay now we will repeat this the above logic again okay so again now the here the minimum between the two is seven so we can uh, here at this point we can have a container with seven units in height and the distance between them is also 7 because 8 minus 1 is their position so which is 7 so here we can have we can draw 7 into 7 7 in height 7 in distance so we can draw an area of we can uh, hold water up to 49 units now this is 8 and this is 7 so we will have to shift right because right is smaller and we'll continue this iteration until left and right meet and we have we cannot form any container after that so that is the logic and after that whatever is the max that we have collected that is the answer. So that's the logic. Now let's begin coding of this problem. So I'll first quickly do my input sanity checks. So here I have included one because uh, if we just have single container we cannot draw any uh, if we just have single vertical line we cannot draw any container in it so that if uh, if we just given uh, this array of uh, length 1 then obviously our container uh, will be 0 ok now we will need two pointers so I'll just use uh, left which will be 0 right which will point to 
this height minus 1 great so that is left and right now I will have my like max area which will initially be 0 okay so I need to continue this iteration while left is less than right because once they meet then I cannot form any container okay now what we need to do is compute what is the minimum height between the two okay so we are at left and right positions we need to find what is the minimum of them because that is the height of the container that we can form so we'll say h which is the minimum minimum of height at left location uh, i'm sorry i'll have to use l and r i'll just quickly make that change yeah and height of right now whatever is the minimum that is the height and the distance uh, which is our uh, width which is equal to the distance between the two positions right so that is right minus left so that is the width i have so the area at this location the current area that i can compute i can say current area actually yeah so that is equal to height into uh, width and then we'll update the max area accordingly so we'll just say max area equal to whatever is the max between this and current day so this will continue the iteration and after that once uh, it is now okay so the uh, the next part is actually we need to adjust left and right so that they can we can continue with the rest of the iterations so here we have two decision points so if so we'll have to check so if if the left is less than equal to height i mean if this number is shorter then we will have to adjust the left so we'll increment left by one else we will, we will uh, shift right so right equal to we'll have to decrement the right so after this iteration uh, we will have our answer here so we'll just sim quick, uh, simply return it so we'll say return max a okay so that is the logic let me verify it oops I have a syntax error okay let me try again yeah it is working fine let me try with some other examples yeah it, it is also accepted let me try with this another one working fine so let me submit my code yeah it was accepted so yeah that there you go that's how you solve this problem uh, i hope you liked this coding challenge for more coding challenges like this stay tuned to my channel and i'll see you in the next one bye